Lever arms are my absolute favorite piece of home gym equipment and today I'm going to show you how to unlock their full potential to do a ton of exercises that you didn't know were possible. I love lever arms. I think they're my favorite piece of home gym equipment outside of the essentials like the rack and the bench and all that stuff. I love having lever arms because if you're a little bit creative with them, you can pretty much mimic any machine in the gym. And if you work out at home, if you're in a basement like I am and your space is limited, you don't have a lot of room for machines, so you got to get creative. I have a video on my channel dedicated to these lever arms, all the different exercises you can do with them, so check that out. I've been using these things pretty much every single workout for now three years. One of the things that I use them the most for is chest press, either regular chest press or incline, depending on how you set these up. But just sitting here and doing a press, I really, really love. A lot of people are gonna have their lever arms set up on their rack, which is totally fine, but what I'm gonna show you today is what you can do if you attach it to a pulley tower. These are from Bells of Steel, and it's designed so that these holes can take attachments just like their racks, so all the holes are 5 eighths of an inch. That's the same that you're going to find with a rack like Titan. I know their X3 has 5 eighths inch, and I believe one of Reps and Rogues. It depends on the exact rack, but they have options with 5 eighths of an inch holes. And that's what they designed their pulley towers for, which is awesome because you can use attachments. So I have my lever arms attached right to those. And because I'm on the pulley tower, you can hook the cables right onto the lever arms to unlock a ton of awesome exercises. So let me show you what I mean. So one of the main issues that I found with lever arms is that unless you use some kind of resistance band, you have an issue with the first few inches of any exercise you're doing. So for example, with this press, this first, I mean, this is more than a few inches. This is like the first foot. This is basically resistance free. I have a plate on here and I can do this all day. It isn't until you get out here that you actually feel the resistance because this is when the gravity starts kicking in. So I've seen people do resistance bands, hook it around. It works in a pinch, but what I do now is I use the pulleys as my resistance instead of even loading weight onto here. And I found it works so, so well. So I've got 25 pounds loaded on my pulley tower. If you have a weight stack, that's obviously gonna make this really easy. And it came with these handles. So all I'm gonna do is hook up one side here. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna hook it around on here. And I really like these specific handles because there are so many options here for how close that you actually attach it. So you can kind of play with it to get the right resistance. But basically what I'm gonna do here is hook it up and then bring this down so that way it is fully snug from the start. So now all of my resistance is coming from the pulleys and the resistance is starting from the very beginning of this motion. So when you push from here, you're feeling the same exact resistance all the way through versus when you have the weight just on the end there, where you feel it just on the end. This is gonna pull all the way through and you can obviously adjust the great thing about this is I can change the height of the actual pulley to create more or less resistance if I want. I use this way more often than I use plates on the actual sleeve because you can create resistance through the whole movement and it feels so smooth that if you miss doing machines in the gym, this works so, so well to mimic that feeling. So using this strategy, you could really mimic any machine uh, some of my favorite uses are obviously what I'm doing here, just seated presses. And I really like for leg press purposes. It's tedious to get it set up, but I found that when you use these cables for the resistance, it's such more of an efficient movement than loading up plates and trying to work against gravity. It's really hard to do with leg press on something like this. So when you have a plate on here, you can really only do pushing you're pushing away from the rack. So with the option to use the pulleys, it opens up a ton of possibilities. So when you hook it to the handle here, now suddenly you're creating a pulling motion. Now there's a lot of different applications for this. I won't run through absolutely everything. And honestly, there are probably ones that I haven't thought of. 
but I want to show you a couple of my favorites because I found that this is extremely, extremely helpful. So obviously, if you're working on at home, you can do traditional lat pull downs or pull ups. But this is for anybody that likes those lat pull down machines in the gym, especially the ones that allow you to do one arm at a time. I really like those machines. So doing these seated using the lever arms to do lat pull downs, it not only gives me a lot of height, which is something that I lack with the pulleys themselves, but it allows you to do single arm lat pull downs with the machine feel, which is something I really miss from the gym. And just to show you how easy it is to change exercises doing this, I just went from doing the lat pull downs. Now I'm going to do some high rows and all you have to do is adjust the handles, which only takes a couple seconds. It's really easy. Obviously with certain exercises, you have to adjust a little bit more, but it's a very quick, easy thing to do. If you set up a bench, so your chest is against the back of the bench pad, you can do high rows, machine high rows in the gym especially single arm versions. One of my favorite machines that I've missed for years. Being able to do this variation, I am just in love with this. And regular seated rows, you can do with the lever arms as is, but using the cables for the resistance makes a big difference because you don't have that problem where the first few inches are resistance free from the gravity. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, that it is also a useful tool for that. And then one of my favorite applications is doing dips. You can do dips with a dip bar, obviously, I like the dip machines. Obviously, all of these things I'm showing you are to replace machines. I happen to love that machine and doing dips like this, really great. And I've seen a lot of people in the gym use the assisted pull-up machine to do single leg press. You could do something like that with these lever arms. It's not my favorite, but it is an option. Just trying to get a little creative to show you guys that if you open up your imagination, you can probably find a ton of exercises to do. So I'm sure there are a bunch more exercises you can do using this technique. And if you try it, let me know what some of your favorite exercises are. I'd love to hear what I'm missing. See what else I can do to unlock the true full potential of these things. I can't recommend these enough. I have other videos on my channel, so definitely check them out. Breaking down these pulley towers specifically. I have one for the lever arms. I have one for the leg press. All of it kind of revolves around the same stuff, so it's all related. So check those out if you want to learn more about my setup and how to make this work. But I'm telling you guys, lever arms in and of themselves, amazing, and I cannot recommend those enough. But if you can manage to set them up on a pulley tower system like this from Bells of Steel, I mean, this has changed my workouts completely, and I truly feel like there's not an exercise I can't do with these, so I love it. I'm trying to get my hands on new pieces if space allows so I can do some kind of hands-on reviews, help you guys find stuff that's worthwhile. It won't be huge pieces of equipment, but a lot of attachments and things that I can work through and get a feel for to see if it's worth it, I'm happy to try. So if there's anything like that that you wanna see, let me know. And otherwise, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.